Hello, Sweet Tooth here. I hope your day is going well. I'm going to play some Bastion for you by made by Super Giant Games. Uh, you'll just have to see how the game plays out. It's not too violent, so that should be fine. And let's jump right into it. And I really recommend this game. So we're going to start into uh, another new game, just on normal. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the Bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. You have a narrator that, uh, for this game. Sounds really nice. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. What you do is you use the cursor in order to point your character in different directions, and he swings in that way. Or uses a gun to uh, shoot, you know, in that direction. Simple enough. Spaces to uh, dodge roll. He sees what's left of the rippling walls, years of work undone in an instant, in the calamity. This game is mostly about the after effects, the aftermath of the calamity. That a survivor. No ma'am, it's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Kid just rages for a while. The narrator will make comments on whatever you do. So me just going around hitting things that he mentions... The narrator mentions that your character is just raging. Peter falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Tonic water gives you help. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. It's a wonder the old saloon still standing. Used to have the nicest view. She's going to the saloon. 
He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondé, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Yelled the chef but just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Clang. Shield saves his hide. Windbags start turning up for last call. Pull up the shield just in time, you can carry a carry an attack. So you can counter. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Then windbags are playing for keeps. Kid sees the way to the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Spy is a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back, right back at you. Yeah, there's not too much to it once you get used to the controls. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. It does get Bad a little bit hard. Aiming for the kid. Certain times. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. If you press the Q button, you can use, uh, or whatever you map, map it to, you can use the uh, sp specials of whatever weapon you have in your hand. Your uh, primary weapon. But I guess it really depends, because I think there's different kinds of specials. You find the distillery right next to the arsenal. Let's Tough back part of town. Just to make sure I got everything. Yeah, I think so. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. So what I can go for is 10% health for now. Uh, well, 10 health. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Oh, and you can fall off the ledge quite easily, too. Sweet. 
Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Who is that? I'm just fooling. <laughs> you just lose some health when you fall. Main trick is to dodge and roll. Hit, hit and dodge attacks. Same as any other combat game. Hit the enemy and dodge their attacks. Alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. The kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. If you pull back the string just enough to where he glows, you can get a power shot. What long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true, the kid puts him out of his misery. Yeah, so if you really want to do criticals to enemies, you need to uh, know when you pull back the uh, bow just enough, or whenever he flashes. Uh, Just like right about now. That's a power shot. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. I better get running. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. It just keeps running. Some assault like crazy. <laughs> Better just get out of there. Is the skyways in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. The Bastion. Did anybody else survive? 
sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. The city crest. Ask about the seal representing the city of Saladonia. Salandia. The city of Salandia. That's how you say it. Weren't these only meant to be for uniform and identification? There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. A core. Ask about the large bluish mineral found in the Wharf District. Wharf District, where your character just came from. It feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly does it do? All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. The Crystal Barrette. Ask about what happened to Nacy, the girl who used to pin her hair back with us. Is she here already? Where is everyone? I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Put the core into the monument. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Let's get the first building. Kid ponders what to build. See the distillery? Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Chance to carry on sounds nice. Party punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. at the intersection between bad and wrong. Workman Yard. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Just try to work my way through these enemies. No core, no surprise. Likely gas fellas are hiding it from him. He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. He'll never see one again. I'm not really into the hammer. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. I can make a squirt like me. Here we go. He's come back and digest. Just now I have a sword. Except for this, it's this... quick for slicing. And light enough to throw. This is my favorite primary uh, weapon. Them squirts just don't know when to quit.
running sharp. You'll get some uh, north, components, like materials. Used to live, tending to his flock. Some components and materials to make your uh, weapons a little bit stronger. Quicker or some other stuff. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. We'll come back to it for a second. The blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. Just to make sure I didn't miss something. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, he can fine tune those instruments of his. Something sharp. Start getting upgrades. 20% of critical hit or attack deal damage over time. The little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light. Those are locked. Core ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. You can also throw your sword. So let's continue on and try to get the core. Everybody's already out, huh? And now there's a new marshal in town. Place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. <laughs> Gotta get out of an area before, after you take the core, as the whole area will start to fall apart. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Ragged Hood. Ask about the Ragged Hood belonging to some ill-fated guest villa. Why are they flooding the city? Ransacking his remains? The windbags used to be alright. Then the Calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. I could do the forge or the uh, arsenal. Probably do the forge because it'll allow me to upgrade. A lot of things be fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Can't go over here into the melting pot. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. But we'll save this for another video. So that'll do it for this recording. If uh, thank you for watching. If you have any other suggestions for other games, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, Sweet Tooth signing off. <laughs>